As a final part of our Zoom lesson, I just wanted to show everyone how you would join a Zoom meeting that you might have been invited to if you receive an invite by email. So in this case, I was invited to a Zoom meeting that is an exercise class, and I received an email about that class. So I'm going to show you the email and what the invite looks like and how you would join it. So I'm going to go to my email app, which is the blue square with the white envelope icon. So this opens up my inbox. And over here, last week, I received an invite for a Zoom uh, exercise class. So I'm going to open up my email. And here is the body of the invitation that I received. It's about a Tai Chi class going to be held Tuesday at 5. And what you'll look for whenever you want to join a Zoom meeting is a hyperlink or a blue font link that is taking you right to the Zoom meeting. So the words here say join Zoom meeting, and here's the link below. It looks like a long web address, and it starts with HTTPS. Below it, it says, if asked for a password, use the word breathe, or this is the password. So down here, there's also a 10 digit meeting ID with a password. So a quick and easy way to join a Zoom meeting is to just click on the link that you receive. And you can see, like I said, it's underlined and hyperlink here and it's in blue. That means that I should be able to press on it and it'll take me to the web page for this Zoom meeting. It'll go right to my Zoom app and open that up. So we're gonna press that. Takes me to my Zoom app, my Zoom homepage. And here's my video. So I'm on Zoom. And it gives me a preview of what I'll look like in this meeting when I join it. And down here, it says join without video or join with video. So it depends on the meeting that you're attending and how you want to attend with your video on or without your video on. So I'm going to join with video. So it shows me that I'm connecting. It gives me a little pop up window here to hear the others. Please join audio. So audio is the sound. And if you want the people on the Zoom call to um, hear you using your iPad, you would choose call using internet audio. Another option is to dial in. And sometimes Zoom calls will have a phone number that is associated with the Zoom call. And you could call in on your phone if you wanted to, if you didn't have a device or if something was wrong with your device and you couldn't use it. I'm gonna call using internet audio. Now, this will join me to the meeting if it was in progress. So this meeting is actually happening on a different day and time. So there's nobody else in the meeting with me now. And it also tells me that the host is not in the meeting yet. So I'm just waiting for my meeting to start. And once the host joins, you would see his window pop up similar to how it was in the last part of the lesson when myself and Philip and Ariel joined. So this is how you would join a Zoom meeting link that you received an email. I'm going to leave the meeting for right now. That takes me back to my Zoom homepage. And I'll show you one more time in the email that I had received. There was the Zoom meeting link. It didn't ask me for a password, so I didn't have to put it in. And that's how I joined. Another way to join a Zoom meeting is to go to the app, use the join button and put in the meeting ID that you've been provided. In my email about this meeting, the meeting ID is listed down here. It's 10 digits. So I've written that number down for my reference. I'm going to go back to my Zoom app. And I'm going to go to the join button, which has a large plus sign. This opens up a separate window and it is giving me a box here where my cursor is blinking to put in my meeting ID. So I wrote it down from the invite and I'm going to enter it now. The blue button that says join is now active and I can press the word join. 
this brings me to a preview of the Zoom meeting. And I can join this meeting with video like I did before or without video. I'm going to join it with video. And it opens up a window, again, asking me if I want to use internet audio for my audio, which I'll select. And now I'm in the meeting room a different way, which was using that 10-digit meeting ID. So you can do either or. So there's no one else in the meeting with me because the class hasn't started. So I'm just going to leave it. Going back to the email, again, we joined two ways. One was through the direct link, join Zoom meeting. And another way was using the 10 digit meeting ID number and going to the join button in the Zoom app. So you can do either or. Sometimes the meeting IDs are nine digits. They could be nine or 10 digits and sometimes 11 digits. So just look out for those numbers. And back to Zoom, to my home page, and we're done. Thank you so much for attending this lesson, and I hope you enjoyed it.